Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very interesting video to share with you guys. Just some of the things that I do to recycle, upcycle, reuse, and just help cleaning up our planet and reducing waste. Reusing is something that's very important to me. I take it very seriously. It's a part of my mission here on planet Earth and my way of being kind to our planet. Just doing what we can in our daily lives I feel like it's very important to helping to restore and renew our planet to becoming close to its original state. I take it very seriously. I actually also want to go in business doing this kind of work. So I wanted to make a video to show you guys how I in my daily life do things to reduce waste and that also saves me a lot of money. So starting in the bathroom, I have this reusable bottle. It's a plastic orange juice bottle that I use for all of my toilet activities. I basically just fill it up with water and I mean, read between the lines. It's like a handheld bidet. So it's used for the back and for the front, you know? and to keep yourself fresh and clean all the time. For you ladies who want to maintain your cleanliness and your freshness down there for number ones and twos, and for you men who also want to do the same, this is the Muslim way and I love it and I practice that every day. Now, continuing on toilet activities, I do not use toilet paper at all. These are what I use after I have washed myself after every bathroom activity. I have two kinds. I have these thick ones and then I have the smaller ones that I use for drying my number ones and the bigger ones I use for drying the number twos and it's pretty simple and everything that's here is going to be linked below and I got on Amazon. These washcloths are rewashable which makes them a more sustainable choice to toilet paper and I love this and when I finish using them I just drop them into this bin here purchased specifically for this purpose that we have in our bathroom. It's easy to clean because it's plastic. The only problem that I have is that the wooden area um, sometimes get a little moldy and I just need to take it off and treat it, but it's easily treatable. So the next thing I do is that I stop repurchasing soap and now I just use my body wash to create hand soap for my bathroom and for my kitchen. It's just more sustainable and more affordable and just like I'm not going to buy into this capitalism and this like consumerism of just like purchasing and purchasing I'm just going to use what I have at home to create the things that I need and that's exactly what I do and it works just as well Another thing that I do not buy is garbage bags. Um, I do shop at Food for Less as well as Whole Foods and they have these plastic bags. So I use them for my small bins next to my desk and in my bathroom. I also want to add that I do not throw out these bags unless they are soiled. I empty the trash into the bin and continue. Now, almost all the items in my home are upcycled, reused, recycled for something else. Like all these containers that I'm literally showing you right now. Yeah, all these containers were upcycled. I literally found this one while hiking up the Hollywood Hills and I use it to hold my floss. This container held Q-tips prior to holding my current floss that I'm using and I do not throw my flosses away until the floss is actually broken. I reuse it every time. Just use then rinks. Now this container is actually an upcycled container from my deodorant and I use it to hold my cotton rounds for my face. A few fun facts about this particular brand, Ran and Gong, where I purchased my deodorant is that when you collect three or more containers and send it back to the company, they send you a free deodorant and I think that is so cool and trust me, I'm stacking up because I want my free deodorant. I pledge that you guys consider entering into like sustainable programs as such because it's really rewarding when you get something in return for your sustainability and recycling and upcycling habits. And just to add, this is a black owned company. So let's move on to my bathroom. I wear makeup, as you all know, sometimes more regular, sometimes just none at all. But when I do wear my makeup and I want to remove it, I 
I use these microfiber makeup removing pads from e.l.f. as well as from Face Halo. Um, I've been using the Face Halo brand for years now. I have two product reviews on the Face Halo Pro as well as the regular Face Halo. I will have that linked down in the description bar just in case you want to know how that works um i have a cleansing balm from clinique that i use sometimes and i just decided to also try the elf brand they're both good they both work all you need to do is add water to this and it removes your makeup like magic while we're on the topic of beauty i like to keep my nail polishes my skincare beauty supplies and makeup sustainably sourced vegan cruelty free and such now continuing in my shower i have several shower items that i use on a daily basis only for the purpose that i find that circulating my shower utensils extends their life cycle and that's why i have the loafer the sponge the glove and i also have like this back scratching type pad that is used primarily for my back Yes, so back to the kitchen. I do not consistently purchase soap. I actually extend the life cycle of my soap by adding water to it. I find that this is a great way to save and to actually do the same thing that Dawn is doing to us. Basically what they did with their new spray dish soap was they added water and gave you a spray bottle and then wanted to sell it to you for a higher price. So I made the same at home. The only thing is that I I don't have a spray bottle. I haven't bought dish soap in over three months now because of this technique. I'm just repeating the same step for my hand soap in the kitchen. And yeah, I do my best at reusing what I have and just extending the life cycle of things without repurchasing because who has time for that? Yeah, we need to just be a little bit more mindful and not buy all these products that we don't need. lower below my kitchen sink i have like this storage area i've been switching from tide pods to this earth breeze just to reduce plastic bottle waste and all the other plastic waste from tide pads also reducing waste i reuse all of my synergy bottles if you don't already know gts kombucha is my favorite and i never throw a bottle away because i do make juices at home for myself and when when I do, I have these bottles to put them in. As you can see, I have had that toilet paper for months on end now, and it's it's probably never gonna be used because we don't use toilet paper in this household. And like I said, I'm really trying to reduce my plastic waste, so we've switched to the earth um, breeze and it's been going well. I just wish the detergent was just a little bit stronger. So onto this pad, this was our previous um, dish pad and it has just like died down a little bit. So now I use this to clean the stove so we don't throw things away just because they've died down a little bit. I save all of my shopping bags because I always have use for them. And I'm gonna show you what I do with my shopping bags in just a few moments because we do reuse every single one of them for a good purpose i don't throw away spray bottles i actually make my own at home cleaners and disinfectants and detergents i like to make mix natural ingredients to just you know come up with different concoctions to clean the house i don't really know what to do with paper and it's not just me that have a gripe with that my partner also has a gripe with the excessive amount of meal that we get and some Sometimes even when you go paperless, you still receive things in the mail. They send you email, then they send you the paper, and sometimes they send you multiples and just all this waste and all these trees that are being cut down for this paper. When we have technology and electronics that allow us to communicate in such a quick an immediate way that we we just don't need to be doing that um, so much so it's just like we need to do something because it's our natural resources and without trees we don't breathe so i thought about some solutions and i think that one we should make full use of technology also i think the individual and the company needs to actually go paperless we need to practice reforestation as well as replanting ethically with organic 
crops. Rainforest, nature species, and wildlife preservation needs to be seen as a human responsibility and enforced law. I just feel like so many countries are doing amazing things when it comes to taking care of our environment. One interesting thing that I've seen that I was like, that would work very well in my country, in Jamaica as well as in America, is to have those huge nets over like drainage to collect trash so that the trash does not then makes its way into our ocean. So I feel like that's something that we should consider. Recently, I saw a, a company who was creating building block or construction out of plastic and I thought that was so ingenious and so like two thumbs up for me on that one. So many different practices, so many different renewable measures that we can take and I wish I knew them all and I'm open for more information and I'm doing consistent research research on this specific topic. I hope that some of the practices incited some action for you guys to take and implement in your daily lives if possible. Um, I think it's very important for us to be very nice and very kind to our planet. It gives us so much on a daily basis. This is very important to me. I'm very passionate about these kinds of things or environment. I'm recycling, upcycling, reusing, and have as minimal waste as possible. Ever since I was a little girl, I was very keen on and very observant of how my own family took measures into like a no waste policy. <laughs> And it's amazing how we travel and we get to see how other people use their means and their platforms and their waste and how other people dispose of things like food and clothing and household items. Okay, so my dishware is a true epitome of upcycling and recycling and reusing because only a few of my kitchen items are traditional kitchen items. Everything else is mostly mason jars. I literally just use all my mason jars as glasses and storage. These are the only two traditional glasses that I literally own in my kitchen cabinet. And yeah, <laughs> and this is the only traditional mug that I own. Everything else is mason jars that I've literally had sauce or pasta or whatever mason jar that I took something out of, I reuse it as kitchen. I mean, look, my partner's candy stored in these. I store my coconut flakes in them. Um, there were some almonds in here. I store sugar in them. I just store everything. My rose petals are stored in these. I use them for everything. Oh, I wanted to show you guys that I'm also cutting back on purchasing some of the things that I like from the store, like popsicles. I really love popsicles. And now that it's summer, it's going to get hot. I just bought myself a popsicle mold to make my own. Yeah, I reuse everything in my home. I have to be held accountable and I have to be responsible for everything that I purchase. So we went on a trip and we needed to bring sugar and cinnamon and we had this container to bring it in because we didn't throw it out. All of my plastic bags, I literally hold onto and I keep until I have used to throw them away. That's when I throw them away and I organize them very nicely so they look aesthetic. You know, I have them stored away in this box and I organize them by type and by color and um, I put it very neatly underneath my um, cupboards. And at the side here, you see that I have my reusable bags and it's pretty simple to take them out. Like, look, the way that I fold them, you literally just pull it out. Now, my reusable bags, I recently found them because I was really looking for them. And I found them um, in my little storage area recently. Um, this one is just one that I got from the little Tokyo market in the um, art district in downtown LA. And I really love this bag because I really love the supermarket. And um I store every bag. I mean, the tiny bags that you put your food items in at the grocery store, I do not throw 
things away because since I purchased it, I need to be responsible. I'm trying to switch out to glass containers and I will eventually, but that's just what I have right now. This is my garbage disposal, garbage like system. I don't have a traditional garbage can. This is literally what I use. I use my whole food bags with a food for less bag inside of it to ensure that the food particles don't leaks out. The other bag in the back is used for ore recycling. When it's full, we just take it to the back. I literally held on to this blue big bag because I got some mail into it and I just don't know what to do with it and I don't want to throw it away. I also don't throw away my chopsticks. If you guys know me and you follow me on the Instagram, you know that I love Asian food. I don't throw away anything. I also use reusable straws as well, and I try to take that on the road with me. I just have this basic glass straw collection that I got from Amazon. Everything will be linked below that's shown in this video. Um, I have these silicone ones just for like the summer and like being festive and cute. So I really try to use reusable things, and I wanted to get these big ones because I love boba, and I wanted the boba to be able to get up in there, you know? Um, so. So, yeah. As we know, America produces a lot of waste. At some point in time, our waste here was being sent to Asia to be sorted and recycled. And for the longest time, that was working up until Asia decided that they don't want our trash anymore. It was just so much that it was kind of impossible for them to get rid of most of our waste in time to accept more so they denied us from doing that and i think it's important for us to do things within our households as americans as people of the west that produce and consume so much to reduce our carbon footprint on this planet and make small changes that add up over time earth is very important to me i don't have another home i think it's important for us to protect what we have now. It's important for us to protect what we currently have and not somehow expect or um, put this responsibility on future generations. I think it's our responsibility because we're alive now, we live here now. It's important to do what we can now. So thank you guys for watching the video. I hope it was of value to you. Please share in the comment section what you do in your daily life to be kind to our planet and your environment. I would love for you to share what you do. So if it can apply to me, I would love to take on new ideas to implement in my household. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope some of these practices were very helpful in assisting you to take different approaches to being wasteless, if that's a word. I hope this video was very useful for you guys. I hope if you've been thinking about it, I hope this opens your mind to different possibilities of how to approach recycling, upcycling, reusing in a different way. Not all of it was glamorous, but most if not all is very useful in being kind to our planet and reducing waste. I hope you got some value from it because it's valuable, because our planet is valuable and it is our responsibility to take care of it. I hope some of these practices incited some action within you to make some change or maybe you were considering some changes before and this was just the video that you needed to help push you along. Just go, do it. <laughs> I'm just freaking passionate about this specific topic and this specific idea and these specific practices that um, I just had to take action right away and I hope that you guys also take some action too. So thanks again for watching, one love, peace. <laughs>